So in today's video, what you're gonna see is me working on a Nintendo Switch, which came in from a customer. And this Nintendo Switch in question had an issue with the touch screen and an issue with one of the Joy-Con rails constantly disconnecting from the Switch. Or rather the Joy-Con was connecting from the Switch because of the Joy-Con rail. So it's a bit of a shorter video. It's only around about 10 or 11 minutes long. So not too long, but I thought it was a good video to put out because it's a common issue which people have. I know for anyone that was watching on Thursday, for Throwback Thursday, I know that I did say I was going to edit a PS5 video. I didn't really have time to edit a video that long tonight because I've been busy packaging orders from the online store. <coughs> Shameless shill, consolefix.shop. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll have to edit that one for Thursday. So sorry if you were looking forward to that one. I... I've just been busy. Uh, I've had a lot, lot of stuff on and yeah, it's just finding the time. But I hope you enjoy the video anyway. If you are new to the channel and you like this type of content, I would really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. That way you don't miss any future videos. If you do want to organise a repair, if you've got a console or a laptop or something that needs repairing, get in touch, consolefix.co.uk. And if you need parts and supplies, I've got over 130 items on my online store right now. So check me out at consolefix.shop. I am happy to provide parts and supplies to help you fix your own console or to fix consoles for your customers. I've got a wide range of parts in stock. So with that being said, let's hear a message from today's shill. <coughs> I mean, sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by my own online store. Whether you need HDMI ports or charging chips, you'll probably find it a console fix. We sell disk drives and power supplies. Just trust me, bro. I tell no lies. If you need stuff, just check the store, because I'll probably find one on my workshop floor. I've got parts to get you going, and I already know. This ad, it's mind-blowing. So get your wallet out, don't be a dick, just spend your money. A console fix. Alright, I'll stop rhyming now. Console fix! Alright, let's work on this little bitch. I mean, this switch. I meant to say switch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's work on this switch first. Um, we are charging. Battery's full. Sweet. Well, it would be nice to get a, a full battery. Should be a nice, easy one, this one. So, touchscreen don't work on this at all. And the left Joy-Con, I think it is... Keeps losing connection. And it's not the Joy-Con, it's the Joy-Con rail. So I'm going to do a swap on that and then try and figure out what's going on with the uh, touchscreen as well. Yeah, so um, this one should be a nice straightforward one. Never been opened, never been messed with. Um, older gentleman. And uh, yeah, he just basically said, well, if you're going to do the... Joy-Con rail, can you have a look at the digitizer as well, so... I've got a feeling it's not the digitizer though, to be honest with you. I've got a feeling it's going to be the game card reader. I've got a feeling this has been dropped actually, and though I'm not going to have to replace the reader. Maybe I'll just have to put it... Clip it back in or something. Do, 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 do... Right then, well there's the... Old Joy-Con rail, that's scrap. But I need to figure out... What's going on with the touchscreen? So I'm going to unplug it and just plug it back in just to have a nose. And just see if that's the issue. Sorry about the focus. Hey, focus you bastard. Hey, over here. There you go. Let's warm up that foam. Let's try not to get crotch cam. There you go. Look at that. No damage. How do you know which screw is from where? Just honestly, I've just done that many of them, mate. I've done that many of them. I could I could put it back together with my eyes closed, mate. You you just get used to screw locations. Right, let's just get rid of this thermal paste. There you go. 
So what are you doing? Um, this one's just a, a basic. Um, well, it's either going to be um, touch screen replacement or game card reader replacement. I'm going to say game card reader is going to need replacing. To be honest, I'm hoping I've got one. I mean, I've got game card readers, but the HAD board uses a different one, so I am kind of hoping I've got one. There we go. Greetings from Denmark. Welcome. My left Joy-Con is kind of loose. It kind of wiggles with the Joy-Con connected. That's what this one's got, mate. Um, I don't think it'd need the screws tightening. They do have an issue, these do, where they do kind of come apart. Yeah, that game card reader's not. Um, that game card reader's not picking up a touch screen. Um, yeah, so they have an issue where the the metal frame kind of comes away a little bit and it causes it to be loose. That's the issue with this one. I mean, this one's never been opened, so... Um, if it's losing connection, chances are that it's the rail itself. And the reason for that is because, obviously, once it's in there, whether or not the screws are loose, it's not going to disconnect from the actual contacts because it's locked into the rail. So... Realistically, it's going to be the rail that's at fault. Uh, right, so I'm going to change the game card reader. I should have probably found one first, but... Oh, well. I'll find one now. I'll find one now. There goes the old stomach rumbling. Oh fuck! I've just I've just done that while it was turned on. Never do it while it's turned on. I mean, it's not going to hurt it. I'd still need to restart it, but it's not going to actually hurt it. But just don't do it while it's turned on. Don't do what I do. Hey, there we go. Touch screen working. Touch screen working. There we go. So yeah, it is just the uh, the module itself. Let's just confirm. Make sure that there wasn't a loose connection on the. Um, What do you call it? Uh, Digitizer ribbon. Let's just double confirm it. Because I unplugged and replugged in the reader itself, but I didn't unplug the digitizer. Let's just double check it. It's not worth fixing these when the touchscreen module goes as well, because it's the touchscreen module chip is more expensive than the actual um, reader. Uh, the actual module. Hey, Tim Cooper. Thank you, buddy. I've been really enjoying all your videos. Very entertaining and fascinating. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. Yeah, it is definitely the module. So there is the fastest £60 I've ever made. Just to put it into context, the game card readers are pretty expensive. I wouldn't charge £60 labour for that. I'm charging, like, £40 labour. Which is a minimum bench fee. Right, so, there's that. Uh, thermal pasta. Is it cold? No, it's not. It's 22 degrees in here at the minute. According to my uh, BGA station. Do, 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 do. His hands are in the way. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I suppose I can do that for just showcasing what I'm working on, but then... Should probably switch to overheads and stuff. I've had to link up the Canon to the overhead as the overhead camera because it really don't like the ZV1 really don't like um, the green mat. I've got a few kinks I need to work out with white balance and stuff. It seems to turn things red. So I've got a few kinks I need to work out. I woke up crisp breezy. Oh my god, I'm the man. I'm singing Freaky Friday though, by the way, for anyone wondering. I made my own version to that song during the uh, start of Covid. <laughs> I used to like making parodies. I have arrived. Welcome, good sir. I woke up a little wheezy. Oh my god, I'm sick again. 
Oh, I can feel it in my head. I got COVID again. Yeah. Oh, I'm sad. I'll sing that and then Sarah sniffles. <laughs> Ah, oh, dearie me. Shits and giggles, eh? Shits and giggles. Do you test consoles for a fee? Um, what do you mean? Like, just give them a full test? I could just make my um, test sheets public, mate. That's probably better. So as I don't have to charge, you can just test it yourself. Right, and so that one's not loose anymore. And neither is that one. Sweet. I'll just show you that on the actual, on the decent cam. So yeah, it was disconnecting when I was wiggling it before. No, it's fine. I made a royal fuck up this uh, this week. Someone, not mentioning any names. <coughs> Colder. <coughs> Forgot to fill in his US tax forms. Which means I ain't getting paid from YouTube this month. Wait a second. He's not reading a game. Sarah played Minecraft. What a loser. <laughs> Loser! What have you done to this? Sarah spilt something inside the game. Cody did. Yeah, yeah, you blame the one kid who can't... Uh, can't answer. Hmm. This game card reader is definitely not working. Nope. Well, that sucks. I've picked probably the one game card reader that don't work. <sighs> so annoying. That's annoying. And that's why we test things. Usually before we put them back together. I've got loads of units, mate. I've got loads of units. Like, all of these... All of these are coming out of uh, switches. Yay, there we go. Boom. It's working. Got one that works. Uh, right, yeah. That's job done anyway. So, happy days on that one. Right, there we go. Nice and easy, as you saw. Uh, 10 or 11 minutes. Uh, in reality, it took me around about half an hour before editing. But really not a bad job at all. It's a fairly common issue. You know, the game card modules, especially when they get dropped, the game card modules and the Joy-Con rails always seem to take the brunt of it because of the weakest points on the system. But, yeah, replacing those two components and it got it working again. I do sell... I don't think I sell Joy-Con rails on the online store right now, but I do sell the modules. And I've got quite a few of them in stock. Over 130 components on all different components and parts on the online store right now, so definitely give it a check out if you're working on consoles or if you've got a console to fix yourself. And like I said, if you do want to organise a repair, consolefix.co.uk, you can check me out, you can book in the repair, or you can get me in touch if you do have a question about the repair as well. As I said, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. I know I'm ugly, but most of the time you're seeing the overhead cam anyway, so it's not too bad. But with that being said, thank you very much, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye for now.